This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Citrix. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and today we're going to install Android 5.1 Lollipop on the Nexus 6. If you're getting impatient waiting for the latest Android update to show up on your Nexus device and just can't wait any longer, hopefully this quick how-to video will help you out. Now of course this will work with any supported Nexus device including the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 9. Just download the appropriate file for your device and you'll be good to go. All the files you need will be down below that like button so make sure to check those out. Also just a heads up, the Nexus 5 seems to be experiencing memory problems so just be aware before updating to Android 5.1. Now before we get started I just wanted to mention that you'll still be able to receive OTA updates from Google even if you manually sideload Android 5.1 on your device as long as you're not rooted or if you haven't flashed anything custom as long as you're running complete stock Android you should be all set. So step one, make sure you've installed the ADB drivers for your Mac or Windows machine. Just download the file which you can find in the video description, extract the zip file and place the Android folder on your desktop. Now open up terminal and type CD space desktop slash Android, just like how you're seeing it on screen. Next up is to install the ADB and fastboot files. So type in your command prompt or terminal dot forward slash ADB dash install dash Mac dot SH. Now, of course, this will be different if you're using a Windows machine. Now press enter and let the script run and you should be all set after a few minutes. Now if you're using Windows, we have the proper article for you guys to read over at XDA forums with the proper steps. Step two is to download the OTA files and the ADB and fastboot files. Extract the ADB folder on your desktop and change the name to Nexus just to make things a bit easier. Move the OTA update zip file within the Nexus folder and also change the name to update.zip to just make things and make typing easier. Step three is to make sure your Nexus folders have these three files inside, which you can see in a video. Now open up command prompt or terminal and navigate to that Nexus folder on your desktop. Type in CD space desktop slash Nexus and you should be inside that folder now. Minimize the terminal window for now and let's move on to step four. Step four is to make sure you have USB debugging enabled on your device. Now to turn that feature on, go to about phone, tap the build number seven times and you should now get the developer option to turn USB debugging on. Step five is to turn off your device and boot it back up into fast boot mode. Hold down the volume down and power button and once it's in fast boot mode, select recovery and press the power to confirm. Step six, once it reboots into stock Android recovery, you'll be greeted with an Android logo and an exclamation mark. And don't panic and think your device is break, it's not. Hold down the power button and volume up button once until the recovery window pops up. Scroll up or down until you see apply update from ADB and press the power button. Now plug in your device and go back to your computer. Let me stop the video for just a quick second and thank our friends over at Citrix. With GoToAssist Remote Support, you can provide live or unattended support to any computer or mobile device. Sign up today for a 30-day free trial, no contract, no credit card needed. Visit GoToAssist.com and click the Try It Free button now. And since everybody loves free stuff, if you buy the annual plan before March 31st, you'll get a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 as well. So that's cool. Step seven, go back to that terminal window you minimize in step three. Type in dot forward slash ADB sideload space update dot zip. Press enter and you should start seeing on your terminal window and on your phone that a script is running. It'll take a few to install everything and once installation is complete, select reboot system now to manually reboot your Nexus 6. And after that, it'll take its time to update its apps and everything inside Android. It'll take about five to 10 minutes max, but everything should be all good. So that's pretty much it. After it updates everything, you should be all set and you should have Android 5.1 installed on your Nexus device. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or stuck at a particular step, just leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button here and I will see you guys in the next one.